As we welcome you back, Pete Dunn in action, taking on Cedric Alexander. And I know that we don't see Pete Dunn in action on Friday Night SmackDown, but since, well, there's no NXT UK, Pete Dunn said, well, i got to make something of my career and show up where careers are built Friday Night SmackDown. Cedric Alexander looking to energize to more ready than ever to take on the bruiser weight Pete Dunn. Now keep this in mind. Pete Dunn is, is a former NXT UK champion. But that don't mean much to Ced Cedric Alexander because he's held the 205 Live Cruiserweight Championship. So they're both former champions. So which one's walking out? You're a winner. Back and forth. Back and forth we go. Cedric had enough. Into a half and half suplex. Cedric Alexander seems to be doing okay in this match. It's about a little too soon. Never mind. Paracelbo setting up for something. Didn't even go for it because he knows exactly what Pete Dunne has in mind at that point. Whips him into the corner. We're going up. Into a power bomb. And again, setting him up for a vertical suplex power bomb targeting the back of Cedric Alexander. As he played corner games again with Cedric Alexander hitting a drop kick to Pete Dunn. What a Michinoku driver from Cedric Alexander! With not being in the ring once against each other, they sure 
they should know each other very well. And Cedric Alexander lands the Brain Buster. And it looks like Cedric Alexander has been in control of this match since the start. Only gives him the one. Goes back for the pin and wasn't happy with it, but doesn't even get a one count this time. Pete Dunn gets back in the contest. Here we go. Whips him into the corner. Momentum building up. Into a running forearm. That bruiser weight Pete Dunn sure knows how to apply bruises to his opponent. Because I can tell you it's what you may survive against Pete Dunn, but you're going to have a few welts and bruises. At least you're not going to come out in a healthy one piece. And again, biting the fingers of Cedric Alexander. Straight to the corner. Looks like he's heading up bitter end, and here we go, he's trying to come up for that pump handle. STO as he calls the bitter end. And Cedric Alexander kicks out with energy he has left, not that he's used a lot defending himself, that is. But Pete Dunn's going top rope. I don't know where we can go from top rope, but it's a diving moonsault. I don't know what happened there, but Pete Dunn somehow some way won that match in a diving moonsault. Very unusual situation. And I don't know what caused that, but I can think of a few reasons. And I think the reason is that Cedric Alexander may, may be injured. Speaking of injury, Pete Dunn not letting loose. Doing more damage to the abdomen and the body of Cedric. Is Pete Dunn finished yet? What is moving? What is this? So sit up, Tombstone Pile Driver. That's what ended Stone Cold Steve Austin's career. Into an X Plex. That'll do it for this match. Until after commercial break.